now your WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Good morning and a happy Thursday. Rain continues to fall for about half of the viewing area. It's been sitting just still over top of the Minnesota half since yesterday afternoon as this narrow band of rain sets up and it actually extends all the way to our south as well with just one low pressure system. And that's why we're getting just that narrow band of rain falling from I Falls through the Grand Rapids area into Brainerd and then of course south towards the Twin Cities. Duluth has been sitting just on that outside edge all day yesterday. It continues into this morning. Yesterday's rainfall total for Duluth sits at just under a quarter of an inch. So didn't pick up a whole lot, but it was a dreary Wednesday and we're going to be in for a very similar day today with the cloud cover, of course, present for nearly everyone, whether or not you're seeing that rainfall and then that rain will continue to move east very slowly into the afternoon hours. Temperatures, we start off in the low to mid 40s. That's where we're going to end as well. Temperatures will be very steady from start to finish today. Of course, with that system on top of us, with that rain, the cloud cover, and a slight wind, that all kind of plays into factor with these steady temperatures sitting just above average for morning lows. Taking a look at the future cast widespread, kind of looking at that system from the south all the way to the north with that shortwave trough, kind of just sitting over top of Minnesota, which has been impacting them with the higher rain totals. Come this afternoon, this is 3 o'clock, this system really starts to narrow a bit much more as rain starts to diminish. We've got high pressure that will be moving in from our west. This high pressure will start to cut off that moisture content and push in dry air. That's going to help finally break free from that system that has been sitting over top of Minnesota since Wednesday morning. And then northwest Wisconsin still in the cloud cover Friday morning, but majority of us will be back under sunshine before the noon hour on Friday. So it should be a very nice Friday afternoon temperatures with this high pressure actually in front of this cold front. You notice to our north, we're going to have warm temperatures. So 50s for highs both Friday and Saturday, but then we will have to watch that front Saturday into Sunday. That's what's going to drop our temperatures and could bring a few folks some flurries as that temperature drops as well. Taking a look at the future cast, a little bit closer view here in our viewing area by 8 o'clock this morning. You're going to watch this band very quickly kind of diminish into the afternoon hours. 3 o'clock, we're still seeing the scattered shower chances, but not nearly as intense as what it was since yesterday afternoon. Temperatures, as I mentioned, not really moving a whole lot. Mid to upper 40s consistent all day long. And then by the evening hours, 11 o'clock, Duluth still seeing sc uh, cloudy skies, but we've got clearing conditions. Temperatures will start to drop a little bit more. High pressure will start to knock that system out of here. And that's when we see that moisture content sit off to our east in Watersmeet, Ironwood, and even even Ashland for just a couple of hours and then Friday we're in for a nice one sunshine and 50s are back on tap. So to grab the rain gear for one more day today and then we are in for a nicer weekend 48 up on the hill today 47 in Ely 50 down here in Canal and 47 over in Hinkley Northwest Wisconsin will also climb to just near 50 degrees today right above average for Northwest Wisconsin winds still trend out of the north at about 5 to 10 and then tonight we don't drop a whole bunch more back into the mid and upper 40s across our east and then to northern Minnesota mid to upper 30s as clouds continue to decrease into your Friday. Sunshine returns for us Friday afternoon high of 53 Saturday high of 56 and then a cold front does knock us down back into the 40s for Halloween.